Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide which is where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one wants you to use a 1993 McLaren F1 to complete all the challenges so without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car. Now this will set you back 2 million credits in the auto show or you can always pick one up cheaper in the auction house if you can find one but I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already have one. Now I have also created a tune for you guys to use if you want to use it. It's a bit over the top, but it's called Ultimate F1 and the share code for that is 1446554814 and that's available for everyone to use. Now you don't have to use it, but it's always there for you. Now the first challenge here just wants you to win two road circuit events in your McLaren F1, which is really, really easy. So first of all, you just filter the map to show road racing events. And I headed over here to the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit. Now you've got to make sure that the race you're doing obviously is a circuit and isn't a sprint race, otherwise it won't count. Now I've not exactly created a blueprint as I normally do, the only thing I've done for this is created a one lap blueprint which obviously you guys can do very easily, but if you don't want to the share code for this one is 676155178. Now the reason I picked the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit is because it takes about 35 seconds to 40 seconds to complete one lap and obviously with it being just one lap it won't take long at all to complete this challenge, probably about two to three minutes overall to complete the whole challenge. So it's a really really easy one there and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want as well because remember it's only a Forzathon event so win that race twice and that's the first challenge complete. Now the next one wants you to earn 15 ultimate speed skills in your McLaren F1. Again this is a really really easy challenge to complete. So the location I used was of course the motorway because there's nice long straights for you to rack up ultimate speed skills. Now an ultimate speed skill is when you're sitting at over 190 mile an hour to 200 mile an hour and you'll keep on seeing the ultimate speed skill pop up. Now I'm sure obviously a lot of you guys already know how to do this. It's just a case of keeping it straight and not crashing basically to keep getting ultimate speed skills which will pop up every 5-10 seconds or so. So probably about 3 whole runs of the motorway and you'll have this challenge complete. Really really easy, probably about 5 minutes is how long it will take so not too difficult and not time consuming either. Now the final challenge here wants you to win a street scene event at the marathon in your McLaren F1. Now the, McLa the marathon sorry, is the final sort of street scene event. Once you've hit, I believe it's level 15, but don't quote me on that. But it's just like the Goliath and whatnot, so it's the big final race. So here you can see it's located just outside of Ambleside. Now like I said, you do have to be level 15 uh, odd. Uh, in street scene events to unlock this race. So unfortunately you can't create blueprints on here which would help those of you who obviously don't have this race unlocked. Now if you don't have it unlocked I would recommend trying to see if you can get into a friends lobby. So have a friend who does have the race, send you an invite to do a co-op or a PvP race and then hop into your McLaren F1 and obviously you'll probably have to take it in turns to actually finish in first place to complete this challenge but it's the only way you can probably do it if you don't have the race unlocked. The only other thing would be to try and sort of grind your way up to level 15 or level 20 of the street scene event to unlock the race. So it is a bit unfortunate if you don't have it unlocked, but there is a couple of ways around it. Like I said, it's a shame you can't do blueprint race on this one, because unlike the Goliath race last week where I could create a blueprint and everyone could just type that in and unlock the race for that one blueprint event to complete the Forzathon challenge, this can't be done for this race. Which like I said, is a bit of a shame um, and isn't probably much help to those of you who don't have the challenge unlocked. But if you have some friends that do, see if they can invite you to a co-op or a PvP event to then enter the race. And of course you'll probably have to give it a couple of tries each to take it in turns in coming in first place. But that's probably the next best thing. Now the other thing as well is you can have this on whatever difficulty you want, just like the first set of races. Because again, it's only a Forzathon event. Anyway folks, I hope that this has helped you out. If you have any questions, don't forget to put them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to give you the best responses possible. But I hope you enjoyed. If it did help you out, don't forget to subscribe as that massively helps me out. And dropping a like as well also helps. Apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.